Hello there, just thought I'd pop in just to fill you in on what happened yesterday when I went to Addenbrooke's to have my pre-admission tests. I had an appointment with the surgeon to see the surgeon first. It took us two and a half hours to get there by transport, by hospital transport. But we got there in time and um, I first saw the surgeon. He... He explained again all about the operation and the risks and everything. He also brought up my MRI scan that I'd had done in Addenbrooke's not so long ago, and that was a bit fuzzy. So he said I'd have to have another MRI scan before the operation. But because I tend to move, well, even when I've not got the shakes, I move with dyskinesia. So he said he would do the MRI when I was under anaesthetic before the operation. So that's that's quite good. Um, then I had to sign a consent form. We spoke about quite a lot of things, you know, that um, what was going to happen, about the, the pacemaker you have, the, the rechargeable battery that you have and that. He, he went through quite a lot with me. When we finished with him, I met the, the nurse that was going to look after me as well, which was lovely. She's, she's a lovely lady. And then we had to go to the ward to have my pre-admission tests. And, and they tried to take my blood pressure, but they couldn't because I was really shaking badly. So... I couldn't do that until my medication sort of worked and I had dyskinesia and I, and I could take it. It was very low, but it's normally low. Um, then they done the usual MRSA tests and then I had to have a blood test and answer a load of questions about my health and about um, my medication and my medical history and that. And then um, because I've got asthma, um, sort of stroke COPD, she wanted to know if I'd had a spirometry done lately, which I haven't had done. So um, I had to go this morning to have a lung function test at the doctor's. And that was just a handheld one. And I think they want me to have a full spirometry as well before for the anaesthetist. So I've booked that in to be done as well. So all I've got to do is wait now for the test results to be cleared and for them to say that it's all go for um for for the ninth of March. So fingers crossed also, it was a long day yesterday, so I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't do the video yesterday, but we didn't get back until, that's quite late, half past six. We left at half past eight in the morning, so that's quite a long day for me. So I'm very, very tired. I was exhausted. I was in a lot of pain. So I, I just, I thought I'd do the video tonight just to let you know and fill you in on what happened. So... I'll let you all know as soon as I find out if it's, it's a go. Okay? Thank you for listening. Speak to you all later. Bye.